Hey everyone, Crosser 37 here, and I am fucking hype. So, the presentation just ended, coming out on March 3rd, 299. Pretty expected. Uh, free online for a while, then they're going to start charging for it. Hopefully, it is a lot better than the Wii U's online feature. So I've said a lot about that before. But if they have good online features, I have no problem paying for it. Speaking of which, we're going to get, I guess, a companion app that lets you have parties and chat through the app. But I hope you're able to do it on the system as well. I don't want to have my phone near me all the time when I'm trying to play online with someone. It uses USB-C, which we kind of knew that for a while. Eight player local multiplayer with separate consoles. There's a capture button. At launch, it's only going to be able to capture images, but later on, they're going to add video. Hopefully, they'll add streaming too. They showed off a couple different Joy-Cons. Um, two. <laughs> two, actually. Uh, the standard gray ones and a red and blue one. Both of them come out at launch. You can either buy the console with the gray ones or buy the console with the blue and red ones for the same price. I was hoping they would show off different variations of the Joy-Con, like one with an actual D-pad or one for virtual console games, like a GameCube looking one. But maybe we'll get them later on. So the Joy-Cons themselves do all kinds of crazy stuff. It's got an IR camera in there, you can judge distance, HD rumble features, what even is that? So they're gonna come out with like a Wii Sports style game to show off the abilities of the Joy-Cons called 1-2 Switch. I'd be surprised if it wasn't a packing game. And then also another really interesting looking like robot boxing thing where you use the Joy-Cons to punch and move the direction of your arms. And I, it's weird, but it looks like it might be kinda cool. And now for the actual games, Splatoon 2. So excited. They showed off new movement options like rolling. Um, they showed off, you know, you push a button to go into the map screen for the super jump. There's a jetpack. There's a new weapon that's like dual wielding that lets you maneuver better somehow by shooting. I don't know. New specials, local multiplayer, you can use the pro controller. And it's come out in the summer and they're going to release free update patches like they did with Splatoon 1. Super Mario Odyssey looks fucking weird. They showed them in many different types of worlds like in an actual real life city in a desert that kind of looks like Sarasa land it had like little sphinx enemies they said it was going to be like mario 64 and mario sunshine where it's not just a bunch of little worlds like uh, galaxy and it has different movement options as well mario can throw his hat and then jump on it he can roll around like sonic i don't know but it's not coming out until the holiday 2017. so guys it's fucking list of games that they showed off a little bit of xenoblade chronicles 2 fire emblem warriors Dragon Quest 10 and 11, Dragon Quest Heroes 1 and 2, a new Shin Megami Tensei for the 25th anniversary, a new Square Enix game called like Octopus Traveler or something. They showed off a bit of Skyrim, there's a new Sega game, a new Studio 51 game with um, Travis Touchdown in it, maybe No More Heroes 3, but they said something about like being inspired by like wrestling, so who knows what that's gonna be like. And they also brought EA in to talk about FIFA. Unfortunately, we don't know when these games are actually gonna come out. They said the Shin Megami Tensei game just started being in development, so that's probably not going to be for like another fucking year or two. And then they showed off like a montage with a whole lot of third party games. I only caught a couple of them because they were going so fast, but I did see like Dragon Ball Z, um, probably Xenoverse 2, uh, the new Sonic game. They showed off some Virtual Console. They showed off something that looks like an F-Zero game. Hey, it's a lot of fucking games. I'm sure Game Explain will have a video talking all about it. But they saved the biggest thing for last, the fucking Zelda trailer, with like a better, newer trailer. Showed off so much stuff. It looks like you're actually going to be traveling with Zelda at one point in the game. It looks like there's going to be actual voice acting. It looks like a lot more story, like like a lot of story. Showed off a couple new races, which kind of look like they're just like different versions of existing races, like like some kind of like shark head thing that might be like a new type of Zora. Who knows? We'll see more on that later, probably. And it seems like that the narration was done by the King of Hyrule, and he asked Link if he remembered him from a hundred years ago. So I'm thinking. What if it's a sequel to Wind Waker? But we will find out when it launches with the Switch on March 3rd. So excited. So right now, when I recorded this, it's right after the presentation. Obviously, they're having that other thing going on on Friday morning, the Treehouse stream, which is probably happening right now or already if you're watching this afterward. But maybe we'll talk about that later on. So until then, see you next time. Battle mode! This is like quick drop from like the Kirby game. Hogan's Alley reboot. Spadoon! Wait, rolling? Ah, oh, Splatoon 2! Like the whole, it's a fucking sequel! Why didn't they call it Splatoon, though? Mario could throw his hat? I'm fucking that guy from Mortal Kombat? Fire Emblem. Wait, Fire Emblem Warriors? Warriors. I fucking knew it. This fucking translator fucking sucks.